Hello everyone and welcome to another really exciting Star Wars Old Republic video and I'll keep this one short and sweet. Today I'm actually talking about a new cartel market exploit that exists in the game. I was contacted by someone who apparently watches my channel and he said he's been using an exploit for about a year and a half now, has not been caught by Bioware and apparently this exploit gives you a really high chance of getting gold items from Hypercrates. I was very skeptical, he actually directed me to an article that I'll link in the description which kind of talks about this conspiracy that RNG isn't really that random, you can actually predict uh, what are the best times to open a pack in order to guarantee yourself of getting good stuff. And he showed me a little algorithm that he uses to try to, uh, you know, increase the chances of getting some really good stuff and so I decided to put this to the test. Alright, so we'll be testing this exploit on 26 Vigilant Defender Packs, or in other words, a Hypercrate. I did buy this Hypercrate off the GTN for around 25 million credits, and if this works, I'll definitely make a very huge profit. But, um, I did buy it off the GTN, didn't buy it off the Cartel Market, not sure if that'll affect anything, it really shouldn't, because the RNG shouldn't be affected by whether you buy it off the Cartel Market or the GTN. Unless Bioware is being fishy, which they probably aren't. Alright, so let's open 26 packs here, see whether we get a lot of gold items or not. And the first pack here contains no gold items. Not off to a really good start, not sure if this is going to work, but the second pack here does have a gold item. We got a gold decoration. And next pack with another gold item. Gold decoration, this is looking really good. Another gold item. Okay, it seems like this is actually working, I can't believe this. Uh, that's a cunning statement. Uh, another gold decoration. And nothing here, so once again, remember, it gives you a really high chance of getting a gold item, but doesn't guarantee it. And another cunning statement. And there's another one. So it seems as though the RNG is really getting messed around with here because it's giving me the same items over and over again. Uh, we got the cunning statement a bunch of times. Here's another gold decoration. So uh, really kind of goes to show it's getting pretty messed. Here's a at least a different item. We got the reclusive master. But yeah, another gold decoration. So I don't know. Maybe that's just from the pool it's choosing from. Like there's a specific set of uh, gold items you could possibly get and it just keeps giving me the same ones over and over again. But we do have a platinum here. Wow, so I guess it does increase your chances of getting platinum items as well, not just gold. Uh, that was the dual saber. Maybe we can pull out the single saber from this one. Another gold decoration. Aha, finally something different. The protector's command throne. So, uh, you know, you still got a good chance of getting some of the other good stuff too and the uh, companion. So here we go, now it seems to be varying up the gold items I'm getting a little bit. I know gold item from this one, okay. See, it seems as though it switched it around, so each pack that gives you a gold item is so much more common, and then it's like really rare to get a pack that doesn't give you um, a gold item. Here's another platinum, so yeah, definitely increasing the chances of getting your platinum items. Another dual saber though. Another companion requisition. This is looking really cool, I can't believe this. So many gold items. Here we go, back to the Cunning Statesman. The Corrupted Acclay, there we go. And the, no, not the final pack. We have uh, one more pack to go. And this one contains, oh, okay, just two Grand Chance Cubes. Wow. So, yep, the exploit most definitely works. And apparently this guy's been doing it for quite some time. Uh, he said he's mostly based on the Red Eclipse, actually, but he came to the Harbinger server uh, about, I don't know, we said like a few months ago or whatever, but this is nonetheless very, very interesting. Uh, an exploit that allows you to get one gold item per pack almost. I think I did average around 24 gold items from this one and then two platinums, which is insane. Once again, I can't really go into the details of how this exploit works. I could get in very much trouble for that. I think my account can even get banned for that, so I can't really do that, but uh, you know, I'll update you guys on what I'm going to do about this. I mean, am I going to report it? Am I going to use it? I don't really know. Uh, we'll see what, what's said about this. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys in the next one.